what is up my crazy subscriber this is joking john 74 today we're gonna to be talking about a perk that was removed in black ops 3 a lot of big youtubers a lot of pros have been talking about this the twitter rumors are probably real that uh the toughness perk will no longer be in the call of duty series or just black ops 3 i'm not sure if the whole series so um maybe just for black ops 3 so toughness perk will no longer be in a black ops 3 and um well a lot of youtubers a lot of people on twitter have been saying like yeah they're glad it's been taken off it's a noobish perk and i'm like for the past five years that i've been playing call of duty i never had a problem with this perk at all i'm good myself i was super good back in black ops 1 there was a toughness perk also and i never had a problem with that if people used it, it was great for them but it also has a weakness you know the weakness of, of toughness is that if they sneak up behind you, you can't do nothing about it. you still be killed. So what is up with pros having problems with this perk at, like at all? They shouldn't have problems with anything at this point. If you're doing super good getting DNA bombs over and over and over again, you, should, you shouldn't have problems with any kind of perk. Myself, the only problem that I had with perks was the one in Modern Warfare 3 where it allowed you to, allowed you to actually uh, hear the footsteps a little bit louder and also the one in Call of Duty Ghost where the perks were all broken down to like a, a like an individual perk. Like it was super bad in Call of Duty Ghost. I never liked the perk system in uh, Call of Duty Ghost at all. So um, that's the only time I will have problems with a perk. But toughness? It's just out of nowhere. Like people hate this perk. Like... I want somebody to explain it to me like what is the problem with toughness what is the problem because you know what what is toughness this is the make the big question right now because uh, i know a lot of you guys don't even know what the perks are in the game anymore because you guys haven't been playing it for a long time the toughness perk is um when somebody shoots at you you're not going to flinch so you're going to be able to get like a direct shot at your enemy even though being shot at so that is it like it doesn't like allow you to see through walls or anything it's just like that it just reduces your flinching i don't see a big problem with that unless unless it like prevents you being killed from grenades and shit that then i will have a problem with that perk it will be too a hell. but i don't see a problem with not flinching at all like i don't use it i never use the toughness perk at all never have i ever used it maybe like like a few times in call of duty ghost and that's it modern warfare 3 black ops 1 black ops 2 call of duty advanced warfare i never used the toughness perk never it doesn't interest me it is like useless it's super useless to me it is a waste of space whoever used that perk you are you're wasting up a lot of space in your perk system like a lot so if you're a pro if you are a big youtuber complaining about this dumbass perk you ought to check yourself because I'm not complaining about it. And I'm a good public player and shit. I, I don't get this. I don't know why pros, um, you know, get mad at this. But, but I, I just, it doesn't really get me mad at all. That's my big question around, like, what is the problem with toughness? So, um, not even, like, like one of the YouTubers I've been watching, Jay Nasty, he even complained himself. And this guy drops DNA bombs like crazy. And I'm like, Dude, like, shut the fuck up, man. You're, 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 like, the best player out there, and you're telling me you're still complaining about this small-ass useless perk? You know, the time when toughness become, becomes useless is when somebody sneaks up behind you and you're dead. Toughness is only good when they see you. Okay, if, you, if they don't see you, and you blindside them, and you take them off from behind, then the perk is useless. It is a waste of space. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know what's to complain about this. A lot of big YouTubers are complaining about this. Even T. Martin himself, like, oh, I fucking hate this perk. It's a noobish perk, whatever. I don't see it as noobish. I never used it myself. It's just... <sighs> oh, well. I ought to slap every single one of these YouTubers who ever complain about this perk in the face. Like, with a fucking brick. Because they're out of their minds, man. I never dropped DNA bomb before. But I've been doing good. Like, at least 60 kills, 50 kills per gameplay with, uh, with the Amelie. And sometimes with the bell and the AK, I just still don't see the problem with the toughness perk at all. Huh. It wasn't even that bad back in Modern Warfare 3 either. I would still take out people like crazy with the P90. Black Ops 1, oh, the AK-74, you will be like a rapid kill. Black Ops 2, the MP7 and my Scorpion Evil back in the day. Man, it will be like easy kills. So I don't get this stuff, man. So anyways, that is it. I don't want to talk about, you know, about this perk being removed from the game. I really don't see a big problem with it. And um, next time, I'll probably be talking about the SVMM. 
I gotta do my homework on that one because I really do not know what the hell that means. Uh, so far, what I've been hearing about that SBMM thing is that um, if they do install it in Black Ops 3, that means that if you're like a 1.5 KD, you will only be matched with those KDs. If you're like a 2.0, man, good luck taking out those people. You're going to be fucking rank up with the highest people out there. So that's what SBMM, I think it is. I got to do my, more of this research. I got to Wikipedia it. And uh, I know a lot of people have been writing about it, about that thing, uh, you know, on the Wikipedia. A lot of information about it. So I'll read it and then I'll talk about it in my next video. So uh, that is it. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, more Black Ops 3 information, subscribe for more. There's going to be a lot of more stuff going on with Call of Duty nowadays. And, um, well, and I'm back 100%. Like I promised a long time ago, I promised that I was going to be hundred percent back if the next Call of Duty was going to release and I figured out it's going to be the same thing as Advanced Warfare. Well, I don't really care anymore because I'm just going to use uh, an LMG all the time since it's working here in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So that is it. Subscribe for more. Just want to see more Black Ops 3 news and more Call of Duty.